Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to another edition of our Snap series, this time with Lolita memes. All right, this one was actually suggested by a viewer. Thank you very much. I would not have considered doing this otherwise. It's just not something I think about because I'm kind of a living meme, so I don't go seeking out actual memes. I don't know where I'm going with this. That's not something I would have thought of, you know, so I, I appreciate the, uh, the suggestion. Thank you very much. So without further ado, Let's get to our memes. I don't know what's gonna happen here. When you present yourself as a pretty happy person and wear very pretty clothing that makes you even happier, but at the same time, deep down inside, you have a very dark soul. I don't know why I read that in the LWL invoice. That's just my automatic. This meme is highly accurate. I love sweet, pretty, pastel clothing, and yet there's something deeply wrong with me. I don't know if it happened at birth, if it was nature or nurture, or any other psychological term I can throw at it to distance myself from the fact that I am a monster. I am a twisted individual at heart. <laughs> High-key accurate. Let's move on to our next meme before any further psychological horrors are unveiled. Abundance of cheap pieces you want on the secondhand market. I'm not gonna buy anything this month. I need to save. Yep. High key feel this one. I'm not even gonna go for humor on this one. This is just fracking true. Every fracking time I'm like, I'm not gonna spend money on Lolita this month. I'm gonna save it up and I'm gonna go out to like nice dinners or I'm gonna go somewhere else or I'm gonna do something like a fracking adult for once. No, 50,000 cheap blouses, accessories, whatever. Like your fracking dream dress. That's when your fracking dream dress is gonna show up. Like that's just how this works. I feel that in my soul. How many of you experience this? Don't lie. It's a thing. It's totally a thing. I think my stomach just growled. I don't know, I'm very hungry, obviously. Angelic Pretty, making pretty prints. Angelic Pretty, unlimited meh works. All right, first of all, no you fracking did not with Flower Egg Garden, I'm coming for you. Fight me. Yes, the other nonsense, the weird like, seriously stomach? I'm so hungry. Like I understand Sugar Sky, I understand even Fruity Lemon, even though honestly it was the better of the two lemon prints between like Metamorphose Degenerate Bear something lemons and like the nice pretty lemons that AP put out with little chicks on them. This is nice. This is not the most memorable print ever, but how how very dare you on Flower Egg Garden? I get it. People don't like that print. They're like, oh, Flower Egg Garden, it's a cluster frog. I know, but it's my cluster frog and I love it. Fight me, meme maker. Fight me in the street. I haven't decided how this battle is going to go down, but I need to defend this prince's honor. Next meme. I'm going to leave Lolita. Do a flip. I love this meme. Obviously, if someone leaves Lolita because of something like truly traumatic, that's a problem. But if it's just some random entitled brat who thinks proclaiming that they're leaving Lolita is going to be of massive importance to the community and we're just going to be like, no, don't leave. It's more like, don't let the door hit you on the way out. I fracking love this meme. Every time I see it, I laugh because no one leaves Lolita in that, that fracking dramatic fashion unless they pulled some shit, all right? They have pulled some shit and that's why they're screaming it from a rooftop, which is essentially like posting to Lolita updates or ruffle chat, which has happened before, that you're leaving Lolita. One time somebody posted to fracking closet of frills. Why? It's for outfits, not shit fits. Next meme, amazing. Love this meme, so true. Judging every Lolita you see at cons like, Brando elitist juice. All right, I don't judge the Lolitas I meet at cons, okay? It's not the Lolitas that I'm judging. It's fracking every gosh darn trying not to get demonetized Neko Mato Hoor. I'm hoping the algorithm won't recognize that word because it's not pronounced that way, but that's how it is now because YouTube is trying to murder me. Neko Mato Hoor's running around fracking conventions going, oh, this is my Lolita outfit. I'm like, no, be gone with you. I just, every time I see like some kind of cosplay version of Lolita, I, I will, I high key side eye. I am, I'm gonna side eye them. I will never say anything to them ever in a million years that would ruin their day or make them feel bad or even get caught with my little side eye judging. I am very good at this. You won't see me do it. And if you do, you'll keep your fracking mouth shut because I will come for you. I don't know why I went from like Nekomato Hooers to uh, threatening the audience, but let's forget that part. Seriously, you can't tell me you don't do this too. Everyone does this. I like this dog. You can't say you don't do this. Everyone does this. And even if you don't do it, you think it. You've seen some chords before and you were like, girl, no, don't pretend you're better than me. This dog is my spirit animal. I love it. Don't lie. You do this too. Next. New Lolitas. Buying a petty. Buying a blouse. Buying over to the knees and shoes. 
buying a British bear replica. How many fracking people have we seen do this? I mean, back in the day, it was the Milky Planet and Milky Chan the Fawn replicas. Those were the issues. I see this in the community so much to this day, and I, it's almost a feat. It's almost impressive that they've managed to get it that wrong, that hard. Like, no petties, no blouse, no shoes or socks, just fracking replica dress, straight to the replica. This is where we're at. Some of you newbies. I swear, God love you. It's gonna be fine. Just, uh, just uh, one step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Enough lunging vertically into frackery. Next meme. Sacrificing your week's rent to buy a piece you didn't even really want from Frill, but it's cheap, so that justifies it. A small price to pay for salvation. These are all just memes that I agree with. That's all this show's gonna be. I'm just gonna be like, yes, that's a thing. That's a thing that I do. I 100%. I have several blouses, several pairs of socks, several accessories, all bought just because they were cheap. Now I love them. The moment they're in my hands, they are mine forever and I will never sell them, ever, whatsoever. They're mine. I get really intense about that. You can't have them. Judging by like the 282 notes I'm looking at, I'm definitely not the only one who does this. It's how a lot of us bulk up our wardrobes. For better or worse, we see something come up cheap and we're like, hey, I could find a use for that. And even if I couldn't find a use for that, I'm gonna freak out if I don't buy that because it's really cheap and that's a good value. Now I'm not saying that's a good value system or a good system to value things with, but what I'm trying to say is if I don't buy that pair of socks, I can't sleep tonight, all right? I'm just gonna lose my shit. Judge me at your own peril. Well, my idea of Lolita is that it's just a dress and I can wear it however I want and no one can judge me. Doubt. I swear to fracking God, the people that think this way are not Lolitas. They're just not. They can't be. Because Lolitas put in time. They put in effort. They put in social catastrophic results. <laughs> there is a level of sacrifice of funds and dignity that goes into Lolita and you do it with the full understanding that you're gonna go all the way, the right way, as best you can. And these people just think they can trot into our fracking fashion and tell us how it's done, which is not a thing. Usually I don't blow my top at this. Like I really don't. I usually do just judge them from the sidelines. <laughs> but seriously, like these people, they don't, they don't really understand how much goes into Lolita. They don't appreciate the effort or the aesthetic or the community. They're kind of weirdly entitled. Why do you need to call it Lolita if it's not? Why? 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 I'm just so confused by them. Like, why are you so obsessed? with the term Lolita, why do you need to use it even though it's not Lolita? Why can't you just call it kawaii nonsense dress or some nonsense? High key feeling this meme, 100% how I feel every time I see someone throw an absolute shit fit over calling their dress Lolita when it is obviously not or calling their cord Lolita when it is obviously not and is best used as a dish rag to clean up paint. That got mean for a sec, but I get a little annoyed with some of them. Some of them I get a little annoyed because they get really entitled about it and I just want to give them a couple smacks. Just smack, smack, do better. That's where my brain went. It's 2 a.m. and I'm feeling vengeful. All right, next meme. Boys won't like you if you dress in Lolita. I love this meme. I know it's supposed to be a frilly frack you to all men or women who think they can police how a woman looks based on like male sexual desire which is gross in several kinds of ways. Like, oh, women, you need to dress yourself specifically to attract a mate at all times because reasons. I don't fracking know, but I fracking love that this meme says, frack you and your expectations of how I need to present myself to sexually titillate random fracking men that I don't know. Like, she's just like decked out the moment you tell her she can't wear that because boys won't like it. Who gives a shit what boys like? They're boys! Why would you value their opinion on anything about the way you dress yourself? Why would you value the opinion of complete strangers on the way that you dress yourself in order to titillate their specific sexual desires? That's a weird thing to tell someone to do. The moment you start covering up, you're a prude. But at the same time, if you take it all off, you're a slut. There's really no happy medium, is there? And it's only women. It's the only women that are treated that way. I've seen men walk down the fracking street with male boobages a bouncing to and a fro. I don't know why I put that image in your head, but that's what's going on. And you know what? No tickets for him. No slut shaming. No one telling him to put that man meat away. No. This is where my brain goes at 2 a.m. Let's continue before I give you some kind of trauma. Oh, that was the last one. That's how late it is. I forgot what meme I was on. I hope this has been entertaining in some fashion. I presume it hasn't been because I've been present. Thank you person who suggested Frilly Memes. That was a great idea, 10 out of 10. And at this point, I think I need to stop before I end up hurting myself or others.
mentally and or physically, maybe both. So thanks again, guys. Uh, how do I do this again? So that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for watching Frilly Memes. I keep forgetting what I'm naming these things as part of the Snap series. And I'd like to send out a special thank you to my patrons for making this recent uptick in content possible. You guys have made everything we do here, including the worst of it all, just so we share, you know, responsibility for what happened here tonight possible, and I thank you for it. If you would like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for videos that the public hasn't seen yet, behind the scene content, ask me questions that I'll actually answer because I will chug coffee until I answer every single fracking patron. I am that obsessed. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.